Welcome to the Ann Arbor News Daily Webcast. I'm Jim Knight, and today is Wednesday, October 17th. Here are some of the stories you'll find at MLive.com slash Ann Arbor News and in print. Forensic scientists testified Tuesday at the trial of Orange Taylor III. Prosecutors have charged that Taylor broke into Laura Dickinson's dorm room on the campus of Eastern Michigan on December 13th, then raped or attempted to rape her, then suffocated or strangled her. Forensic scientists say evidence indicates Dickinson was pulled from her bed. They also say semen found on Dickinson and from a sheet on the bed matched Taylor's DNA. Another expert testified that an acrylic sweatshirt belonging to Taylor matched fibers found on Dickinson's body. Defense attorney Alvin Keel said in court on Monday that Taylor did enter Dickinson's room, found her in a compromising position, and ejaculated, but he maintained Taylor did not realize that Dickinson was dead. We will have updates on the trial at MLive.com slash Ann Arbor News throughout the day. Ann Arbor will install 1,046 LED, high efficiency LED lights in its downtown area over the next two years. Once completed, project officials estimate the city will save $100,000 a year in energy costs. City officials say the 56 watt LED lights will last as long as 10 years. The old 120 watt lights need to be replaced every two years. The price of cheese and wheat is higher, sales are down, and the result is a 55% drop in third quarter earnings for Domino's Pizza. The Ann Arbor based company announced earnings of $11 million in the third quarter, well below the $24.5 million it earned in the third quarter of 2006. Also in the Ann Arbor News today, you'll find a feature in the sports section on Jake Long. He's the 6 foot 7, 315 pound All America left tackle for the Michigan football team. He's in his senior year. And even though he's projected to be a high first round NFL draft pick, he says he's working every day to improve. He and the rest of the Michigan team will take on Illinois at 8 p.m. on Saturday. Also in sports, Pioneer High School volleyball team beat Huron in a Southeastern Conference matchup. Also in today's paper, we, have, we tell the story of Olivia Dickerman. She was the longtime owner and manager of Jackson Cleaners on Huron Street in Ypsilanti. She died Saturday. She and her late husband bought the dry cleaners in 1948, and she was well known in the community for helping other people. Read today's paper and check back to MLive.com slash Ann Arbor News for updates throughout the day. For the Ann Arbor News, I'm Jim Knight.